Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about multiplying integers and there's basically just two product rules. One of them you already know it's just an extension um, but we're going to look at what it means. Okay so let's start. They either have the same sign or different sign. Okay so this would be a for example so integers with the same sign. So I'm just going to stick a for example in here. That would be like 3 times 2 or negative 6 times negative 2. Okay, so that's where they're both the same. Okay, well we already know how to do when they're both positive. We kind of get that. We get three groups of 2. So the answer for this is going to be positive. Well, the same can be said for this. We would do it like a normal problem. I say normal. So it would be the opposite. of, so this is going to be the opposite of 6 times negative 2, which is negative 12. So the opposite of that, so negative negative 12 equals a positive answer. Okay, that's a little bit confusing, but the, the, that's the explanation. The gist is, if I have the same sign, meaning both positive or both negative, the answer the product is positive. Okay, so here's two examples. 3 times 2 equals 6. Positive, positive, positive. Negative 6 times negative 2 equals 12. So, negative, negative, positive. Same, same. So those there are the same. Product of same signs, positive. Different signs. Only a couple ways this could happen. So, for example, this would be like 3 times negative 2. So that's 3 groups of negative 2. So if I think about that in terms of my counters, can I get a red? So it would be like, here's a group of negative 2, here's a group of negative 2, here's a group of negative 2. Well, what's my product? Uh, it's negative. Okay. So the product of two integers with different signs is negative. For example, 3 times negative 2 equals negative 6, or like four negative 4 times 3 so three groups of negative four equals negative 12, okay? Always negative with the different signs. It's pretty simple, okay? It gets confusing when we've got, when we mix in adding and subtracting, then we start to get confused, like, you know, those kind of things, but keep it straight. Multiplication and division, different signs, negative, same signs, positive. So, different signs, 13 groups of negative three. So I multiply the numbers. 13 times three equals 39. And diff signs, it is going to be negative. Okay, so you can determine the sign first and then just do the problem like normal. So same sign means we're going to be positive. So positive and then 5 times 8 is going to be 40. Okay, so determine your sign first. And then go back and do the number part. Negative and zero. Okay, zero has no sign. Okay, zero is not positive or negative. It sits in the middle. It's got, it's got a really nice position. It's not positive or negative. And plus, zero times anything is just going to be zero. So my answer is zero for that one. Okay? That's all there is to it. I want you to try these six down here. Determine your sign. Do the number part. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.